Hi, I'm gonna try an experimental explanation with you. The reason it's experimental, well, first of all, I wanna tell you about convolutional neural networks uh, and kind of uh, see if I can give you a little intuition on, a, on a how they work. Um, and the reason why it's experimental is because I'm not allowing myself to edit any of these videos that I'm filming this week. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to make do and get a little creative with the explanation. So I found this grid that I'm gonna work with, right? So the point, all right, here it is, is a network. So the point of a convolutional neural network is to take in um, oftentimes uh, data that's arranged in two dimensions. So you can think of an image uh, as a two-dimensional data point, right? So um, the reason why it's two-dimensional, it's got length, it's got, uh, sorry, it's got, yeah, it's got width, it's got height, all right? Um, and it's arranged, you can think of it as arranged in a grid. So that's why we wanna use this grid right here. So imagine this whole thing is a two-dimensional image, right? And I'm trying to make that, there we go. I'm gonna align myself like this. So we've got this up, um, we've got length, we got height, all right? This might be, uh, I don't know, how many how many chain links is that in height? This is like maybe 20, I'm not gonna think too much, all right? And this one is uh, width, oh geez, aligning my fingers is probably the hardest part of this. All right, cool, this is my calibration step. This is important for me, all right, cool. So we've got this uh, this image set, and a convolutional uh, neural network, its job is very similar to, I mean, any other neural network, right? Um, where in a neural net, you have these nodes on one layer, right? You've got your input layer, you've got these, um, let me do it this way. All right, this is, this is how it's generally arranged if you look up an image of neural networks, which I recommend you do, right? Um, you've got this input layer right here, you've got some second layer that, uh, that figures out features from the input layer. So its job is to, um, any one node is, uh, that's arranged in this layer, its job is to look at the previous layer and figure out some bits about it that are important, right? And ignore all the rest, essentially, all right? And you maybe have a few of these hidden layers until you reach the output layer, and this is a layer that actually tells you what you wanna do. So a convolutional neural network, what it does is it looks for features in two dimensions, right? So instead of looking at um, just, you know, say one point of data at a time, imagine imagine this cell, I'm, uh, this cell right here. This is an input, oh jeez, all right, here. I'm, I'm gonna look at it, my bad, all right. So you've got this, uh, this This is a single array, not a two-dimensional array in this line right here. So a standard traditional neural network might look at, say, only this node and this node down here, these two nodes, and say, all right, well, these are the only two nodes that are valuable for, um, let's call it, like, I don't know, some feature uh, called positivity, right? Maybe you just want to tell if a number is positive or negative, right? Don't need to overcomplicate it, just super simple. So it only looks at these two numbers and it might say, well, um, hey, if this, is, if this number is positive and this number is negative then odds are it's a probabilistic machine so odds are we're gonna call this a, a, a negative number so don't uh, <laughs> let me not distract you too much with with this uh, other neural network so the idea with convolutional neural networks is instead of looking at a single row right it's looking at a grid let's say let's call it this whole five by five region right here, this grid, okay? Uh, this might be your input image, this entire thing. Um, I know you probably, you might lose track of where I'm pointing, but that's fine. Uh, so the way it identifies features in an input image is it takes a subsection of this grid. So remember, this is the entire grid, all right? It takes a subsection of this grid, all right? And let's call it this little three by three area right here. And this is now its input data for one node, for one node in the hidden layer, right? So for, for the next step, it looks at only these three, let me get this closer, only these three uh, little elements, right? And then for another node in the next layer, right, it might look at the next three. So it looks at, you know, this step. So remember, if this is the entire uh, containing unit, right? You've got this little three by three grid that might be one, that might contain parts of one feature. And you look at the second three by three grid and it might step over one by one until it goes down a row and it iterates like that. It just takes this little subgrid, all right, and it moves it along piece by piece, all right, until you've got um, a little, uh, not a subgrid. I mean, the subgrid is what it uses to move along and pay attention to the data that it cares about, right? But the, uh, the things that it gleans, the information that it learns from those features uh, are, are what goes into the next layer. So what might that look like, right? Um, you can imagine a, uh, I'm going to move away from this for now. So you can imagine a, uh, uh, an image recognition neural network. In the last video, I talked about handwritten data recognition. And I use that example because there's uh, plenty of great tutorials on a data set called the MNIST handwritten data set. Um, if you've never built a neural network before, like hop into that. If you know Python, it'll take you maybe like an hour or two and you'll have an up and running neural network. I'll post a link. It'll be great. Um, so anyway, so yeah, aim and IST data set. So let's say you're, um, you're trying to figure out a, a single handwritten digit. What does it look like, right? Well, what you care about isn't 
uh, imagine, uh, imagine you have a digit written uh, in black ink on a white background, right? Um, this might be represented in your neural network, uh, sorry, this might be represented in an image format, right? As a grid of pixels, right? Some of them are on and some of them are off, right? The black ones might be off and the white ones might be on, right? Let's invert it for the sake of uh, us thinking through it because um, the idea is, you know, you care about which part have ink and which part don't, all right? So you might say, all right, well, the black uh, ink has uh, the, the black parts of the image, right? Like the ink of the letter, uh, the number three, right? That has ink. So you might say those pixels are on, the other ones are off. So what this convolutional network does is it takes that grid, all right? And it steps it over. Oh, am I going to be inverted? I don't know which direction this is going to post, right? And it steps it over one after another, right, piece by piece, looking at this little subgrid in it. And it might say, well, the, the letter three, if you trace my finger, pay attention here, if you trace my finger this way, it might be backwards, I'm sorry, it's just gonna be what it is. You might see that the end of the letter three, number three, ends in this kind of like little grid area. When you step over one to the right, this might be the top part of the number three. You might get one more to the right, this might be the curve of the number three as it moves down. So those are the kinds of features, hypothetically, that you might think a convolutional neural network is picking up. Um, um, it, it tries to look at what patterns exist in these little subsections of it. Um, and there's much more, you know, like mathematical detail into what these convolutions are doing when you're actually implementing it into a layer. Um, and those are things that you can uh, think through as you're, you know, uh, building your network, you know, from scratch. But um, what I care about now is kind of the intuition behind a convolutional neural network. That's, that's far more important when you're working with um, neural networks, at least at, at this stage, if, if you're, you know, new to it or relatively new, which kind of like I am, um, where, you know, the math is kind of handled by the libraries that you're using to build these things but the intuition is something that you have to learn you want to be able to think through these things and the math doesn't really help you think through them the math um is the is the, is the backbone but what you really care about is kind of like that fleshy surface right you care about um how to how to think right so uh, i hope that was helpful a convolutional neural network you can think of it as um it, it pay it takes an image and it pays attention to little sub images within the original image, piece by piece, until it learns something. Um, and as always, I'll talk about more information. If you've got any questions, want me to elaborate on something, I'm more than happy to. Just throw something in the comments. I'll hit you later. See you. Peace.